Really. I'm a nice guy. Shut up! Today on the Bear the Movie Guy, Bear the Movie Guy is looking at the nice guys. Yeah. Us. Brand new movie. It's funny. It's good. It's funny good. Let's talk about it. Brought to you by the Bear the Movie Guy. Hi, the Bear the Movie Guy, and I'm uh, gonna try and talk about the nice guys now. Now, right now, you may hear it, you may not. If you don't, man, I'm really happy. But if you do, there's a guy mowing his lawn three mile, like three houses down, and it's just pissing me off. So I'm not a nice guy right now because I want to go out and say mean things to the guy. But hopefully you won't be able to hear it too much. Maybe you're like, I don't hear what you're talking about at all. And that's great. If you don't, awesome. So let's just get to the review. Okay, The Nice Guys is a new movie by Shane Black. Shane Black has uh, been in films, and he's written films, and he's directed films. And... Uh, he uh, has directed Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is great, and he's directed Iron Man 3, which was not great. Well, half of it was pretty good, and then, then the rest sucked. But anyways, this is his new movie. Now, it stars Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe, and it's about de a detective and a guy who's kind of like a tough guy from the 70s. They're looking for a girl named Amelia. And, uh, yeah, it's like about the adult film industry and the auto industry in the 70s and Amelia in a yellow dress and it's just that's all you really need to know well okay that's that, that's all I'm going to talk about the plot really because I don't want to give anything away this is really good like it's really good like now I, before I get into it I, I'm going to have to tell you if you if you have a problem with nudity yeah this movie's not for you if you have a problem with violence yeah this movie's not for you if you have a problem with, with uh, language, the movie's probably not for you. Problem with all three of those? Um, I'm not German. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, then this movie's not for you. But if you can stand all those things, even in small doses, like not massive, we're not talking like, you know, we're, we're just, if you can, in relative doses, you can, you can handle this movie. This movie is so much fun. This movie is funny. It's written well. It's acted well. It's directed well. It's... Everything well, it's just, it's really good. I had a really fun time watching this movie. There were several times in this movie that I laughed out loud and my wife burst out laughing. And like, you know, it's usually she only does that for me. Anyways, it, it uh, this movie is really, really funny and it's written well. And Ryan Gosling is just like, Russell Crowe is good. He is good, but he's like kind of straight man to, to the duo, to the Abbott Costello duo. And Ryan Gosling is just so funny in this in this role. Um, yeah, he's just he's really funny. He's just in some of the things he says and just the way he he does certain things. It literally does remind me a bit of an Abbott Costello movie. But if Abbott Costello were kind of vulgar and uh, and and killed people. Yeah, <laughs> in the 70s. Listen, the nice guys, it's just, this is probably, so far, for me, now if this is just for me, I have friends that are already disagreeing with this, but for me, it's probably like one of the best made movies of the year. Uh, I, I think I got it like in my top five of the year easily. I did find it more enjoyable than certain superhero films. Um, it's just, it's an adult movie that's original, that's funny, that's acted well, that's... Oh, I want to see it again. It made me laugh. And, uh, I don't think I'll ever look at bees the same way. It's a, yeah. I've thought about it. I've got uh, back and forth. Uh, 4.5 beards out of 5. It's just a really good time. Not a perfect movie, but it's it's really, really good. Ryan Gosling character's daughter is really good, too. She, child actresses are usually annoying. There's one child actress that's annoying in it, and, but she's supposed to be annoying, so it works really well. But, no, she's she's really good, too. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's funny. It's it's really funny. And I'll, I'll be honest, you don't see everything coming. And certain things you think are going to happen don't happen. There's certain things where like they, they set things up for payoffs and then they don't deliver them and part of me goes, oh, they didn't deliver. Part of me goes, that's kind of like, so it's not by the books, numbers, like paint by numbers. You're gonna, uh, like you automatically assume like, oh, I, you know, this guy said this, so that means this later is gonna happen. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that's gonna happen. And there's some backstory parts 
that they hint at, that they kind of mention, but then you think, oh, they're going to go into detail about why this, and then they don't, they just don't. And in that, I kind of like it in the fact that they, they don't tell you everything about the characters. They tell you certain things, but then they leave certain things vague on purpose, where it's just like, but what about the, and you're like, yeah, the questions, I have the questions still, but they didn't, they didn't answer them. And I'm just like, that either means they're just like, you know what, you don't get to know everything, or number two, we're going to do a sequel and we'll explain that crap then. Either way, I'm fine with it, because I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't know. Watch the nice guys if you like these kind of movies. Watch the trailer if you like the trailer. You'll love the movie. Or whatever. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Stay bearded. You've been watching Bear Movie Guy talk about the nice guys. He could be a nice guy. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not so much. I wouldn't want to piss him off. He's a big man. That's a big beard. They could just grab you and throw you around. The beard. It's, it does that. Anyways, subscribe and tell your friends. And as always, YouTube's definitely.